Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and uh, I saw an absurd news story come through my Facebook feed this morning. I'm going to talk to you guys about it, so let me put on my plus five out of weaponsmithing. I work on skill up my crafting a little bit, and let's talk about this, because this is the sort of kooky stuff that does make its way into the fitness world and occasionally makes it into YouTube, and I'll go into that in a minute. Uh, but it's one of these crazy stories about breatharians, and it's this breatharian couple, they have children, the wife's claiming she was a breatharian the entire time she was pregnant for nine months with one of her children and all this stuff. And yes, I understand the sun is a bit of a tabloid, but New York Post has a little more credibility, not necessarily a lot, but the problem is that this is stuff that's being published, put out publicly, all right, some of the stuff goes into print, and it's being published as if it's actual news. And you know, the mainstream media does bad enough when they get a hold of anything nutrition related. Uh, you guys know what I'm talking about because look how often you see people out there saying, well, they, they're always changing their minds. No, it's the media that's always changing. It's the media interviews tons of different quacks. And uh, that's where they get their information. Mainstream dietetics has changed a bit over the years, but a lot of the stuff that they discuss it's often hypothetical, but the guidelines themselves oftentimes only change slowly over time. And that's really the, the problem we run into with a lot of this. There's a lot of quacks out there, a lot of kooks out there who put out stuff, or scientists who are trying to make a name for themselves who will do a study trying to challenge current ideas, because that's what you do in science. Uh, you test even currently accepted hypotheses and you try to disprove them and make a name for yourself. So you see a lot of that, but the media picks it up and sensationalizes it. Well, the problem with something like this is you have this breatharian story and you don't see anything in the news story there even saying, this is insane, this is absurd, these people are liars or they're crazy. Okay, Because that is the reality of it. And for those who don't know what breatharianism is, it's the belief that you can live on sunlight and air. Uh, and I have met people who do this. Let me rephrase that. I met one person who was trying to do this because he had read about it online, read about it in books, and he wanted to give it a try. And the guy, after something like a month or five weeks into it, was extremely sick already. Like, he wasn't doing well at all. And, to, and I don't know if that guy ever survived or not because I didn't really talk to him again. I met him at some sort of um, a group of friends or something, and, <laughs> and he was trying to experiment with it. And every it was hot. It was above 90 degrees and the guy was having to wear like a jacket and a hoodie and everything uh, just to try to stay warm uh, again. And he was like, yeah, I'm down like 40 pounds already. And he wasn't fat. Uh, so completely insane concept and it doesn't work. And the problem is that you've got this couple here saying, well, you know, uh, I did this while pregnant. And you know, the thing is, if, if that was actually true, the woman could probably be charged with something, but they note that they don't have their children on this lifestyle. We're gonna give our children a choice to maybe accept it later. We don't deny them any food. You know why? Because if they said in the article they do have their children on a breatharian diet, uh, the police would be on top of them so fast, and uh, child protective services would probably be on top of them and be taking their children away from them and charging them with a crime, because that would be considered neglect, because breatharianism isn't real and the people who claim they're doing it are usually kooks who are seeking attention or trying to get some sort of following or sell books or something they're not actually really doing it and the problem is that you have an article like this saying this and then it's it's almost saying oh you could try this and the scariest thing is going to be some stupid pregnant woman is going to try this later and her baby's going to die okay baby's going to die in her womb a few weeks into her breatharian experiment it's going to die and she's going to miscarry because that's what would actually happen if someone did something this insane. And you know what? The problem is that we have breath area and light out there being promoted too. And a lot of people say, well, any person with common sense, well, you would think anyone with common sense would realize breath areaism is insane and it's, it's not really actually real. No one's ever actually successfully doing this. Um, that sounds okay, but then people need to realize there's breath area and light. How about this guy, Dr. Noon Amin Ra? All right, he's out there promoting a similar equivalent. What's he saying? That you can slow down your metabolism enough that you can maintain muscle and just get really lean and have amazing health and performance consuming ultra low calories and only one meal a day. Yeah, isn't that what he promotes? That is what the guy promotes and anyone who does the math realizes there's no way he could possibly maintain the body weight and muscle mass he has with the diet he claims that he uses. And it's not uh, me making an educated guess on that, that's stating 
facts, all right? That's stating facts. And any dietitian, any medical doctor would go do the math and realize that this is a physically active guy who lifts weights. I mean, the guy clearly deadlifts over 600 pounds. So he works out, and he works out regularly. Uh, he even has training clips and stuff showing him working out, claiming to eat like 1,400 calories a day and maintaining a body weight of about 170 pounds. And I keep in mind, he's very, very lean. All right, 170 pounds ultra lean is a fair amount of muscle mass. That person's going to have a higher base metabolic rate than 1,400. And that's what I'm saying. If a person who is, has the muscle mass he has, if they had no thyroid, so their thyroid had been surgically removed, so they don't even have a thyroid to help with their metabolism, and he didn't exercise or really leave bed, he just kind of stayed in one room or inside of his house 24 hours a day, and quit lifting weights even because that burns calories, he wouldn't be able to maintain his 170 pound body weight. Biologically impossible. Uh, laws of thermodynamics and biology prevent this. The guy doesn't consume enough calories. But then he has a following of people out there who believe it. They believe the nonsense uh, that this person is saying, oh, your metabolism can slow, you don't need that much food to survive, blah, blah, blah. He, he's actually lying. Uh, yeah, you can slow your metabolism a little. But you can't maintain your body weight the way that he does. He can't stay at 170 pounds eating 1,400 calories, okay? Biologically impossible, even for a person who's pretty much sedentary. They're not, they're not even leaving their house. They stay at home. They don't exercise. You couldn't maintain your body weight on that. All right, his resting metabolic rate, if he was in a coma, is probably higher than 1,400 calories. And as soon as you get up and move, and he's a professor, so the guy teaches, so he has to get out and do stuff, and he exercises. You're talking about a guy whose who's total energy expenditure, even in the best of scenarios, no matter how much he slowed his metabolism, is going to be well over 2,000 calories a day. Okay, It's going to be over 2,000 calories a day because he lifts weights at least a couple of days a week. Uh, he walks around, he stands and does lecture. This guy is probably burning well over 2,000 calories every day. There's no way he's eating. 1400 yet people will listen to this nonsense and they'll believe it because a person's putting out a guru message and that's the problem with these sort of things they teach things that are biologically impossible and people always claim it's some mystical ability that they have yet just like with breatharianism and just like dr nunam and ra if you were to put these people in a laboratory and study them it's always funny they wouldn't be able to replicate this because it's not possible all right, they make these outrageous claims, but if you were to go study them in a lab, all of a sudden their magical abilities will disappear. All right, this is a, a hoax. It's con man stuff. This is snake oil stuff. Because they won't be able to actually do it when they're studied. When they're actually studied, the scientists get to watch them 24 hours a day and measure what they eat or don't eat and actually monitor them and see how much they're, they're burning because you can put them in chambers that will tell you how many calories you're burning. All right, we have chambers for that. There's rooms, they can test that. These people lose these magical abilities to survive on, on zero calories or ultra low calories without, start, without losing body weight quickly. Um, but you know, the thing is, people are gullible and it's scary and it's stuff like this that puts the idea out there because a lot of people see things like this and I've seen it happen. They'll say, well, yeah, the breatharianism thing is insane, but you know, maybe you really can sustain yourself. On very very little food maybe you could eat a raw vegan diet of 1200 calories and maintain your muscle and your healthy and a healthy body weight no you can't doesn't work that way that's not the way the human body works that's not the way animals in general work and no amount of harnessing power from the Sun or tapping into your Chi or tapping into the universal consciousness is going to change that because biology, physics, and chemistry still exist. All these people say, well, there's a planet. Well, you know what? Energy has laws also. Energy has rules that it follows. And the rules of thermodynamics very much apply to living organisms. And you can't break those things. You can't break them. And no amount of meditation does it. And again, this has been known. That, yeah, you'll see certain places, certain countries will claim, well, we've tested our people, but then when you test those people in places like America or England or Germany, they lose their magical abilities. They lose their magical abilities to slow their metabolism or absorb energy from the sun and everything else. It disappears because they can't actually do it. They're charlatans.
And so the breatharian thing not even being discussed in the article as complete quackery is already bad enough. But, you know, that's bad enough that they're not even saying, oh, this is insane. They're actually, like, listening to it and pretending like these, what these people are saying, they're just accepting it at face value, not questioning it, just reporting it. Uh, with no, no skepticism, because even the most modest of skepticism would disprove nonsense like this. But then it gets worse when you see these people like this Dr. Noonam and Ra guy who is promoting breatharian light, really. That you can slow your metabolism to the point to where the energy that it actually takes to move your body and keep it alive is no longer necessary. Um, because at a certain point, your body starts cutting into tissue. It has to, and that includes your muscle mass, even your organs, everything else. It will tap into those things. And this whole concept of even metabolic damage has been promoted, that's not real either. It's not based on reality. All right, that's based upon people's psychological issues and they're, they're overeating when they're dieting. Nothing to do with what actually is really happening in the body. Uh, and it just it pisses me off that I see nonsense like this being promoted just in general and in the fitness world and health world just like buying into it. Not everyone. Obviously, a lot of people say this is crazy. It's insane. But a lot of people do buy into it. And a perfect example, the fact that guys like Noonam and Ra actually have a big following, a bunch of people who believe them. Uh, actually believe that they can break these laws of physics and laws of biology through their meditation. Uh, it shows how gullible people can be and why we really have to speak out against uh, nonsense like this. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.